In this video, I start to make the spinner for the airborne lifeboat restoration. Starting off with a big expensive lump of two and three quarter inch brass. I set it up with a dial test indicator in the four jaw chuck. There you go, there's the picture. So here we go, set up with our first uh, sort of position for really getting cutting on the spinner for the airborne lifeboat. The uh, large billet of uh, brass has been centered using a DTI. I've done the initial cut down to get it to a sort of size where I can now start working with it. So here we are, I've turned down the central spindle bit which is going to be what holds the whole block in the lathe while I do the uh, outer cone turning it's faced on the on the facing here uh, which is going to be dyed up shortly so I can actually mark up uh, where the inset's got to be so it fits onto the uh, propeller but before I do that I'm just going to turn this down to the uh, outside maximum diameter for the spinner So here we are, we've uh, I've turned down, this is the, the central spigot to hold everything in, that's face ready. This is now turned down to the outside diameter of the propeller which is uh, two and three eighths of an inch from the two and three quarter inch stock that we've got. And uh, I'm just going to apply some engineer's blue. To the faces here and the edge so that I can uh, mark up the inset which will allow this to uh, locate onto the actual propeller boss itself so messy stuff but there we go we'll let that uh, that dry and then the next stage will be to uh, turn the start taper on here because the end of the propeller has got a slight taper or the propeller hub's got a slight taper on it to start off with so I'll be turning that down to get as much material out of here as I can uh, so I'm just going to turn back to this face here and then I'll set up and start turning the inner section to get that inset ready to go for the propeller so join you in a little bit and we get that sorted So here I am using the angle of the tool, I'm going to cut backwards and forwards but the angle of the tool is actually set at the angle of 2 degrees uh, to cope with the tape of measurement which I got from the uh, hub itself. Uh, backwards and forwards a few times, we'll skip forward in a moment. Here I'm just doing the final touching to get the taper so it's smooth. taper next section which we'll do another day is we'll do the marking out for the eighth of an inch lip and the sixteenth of an inch deep recess to go into there I'll show you how we get on with that later 
So to start off with, I'm just going to cut out a little way to allow room for this cutting tool to be able to do the, uh, the cut out to the final edge. So I'm just going to basically eyeball and, and, and do some cuts in. I've set here the, uh, the gauging on here to zero so that uh, I can uh, cut in the 1.6 millimeters because this is metric this way to get the 16th inch inset which I need. Having checked uh, the, the requirement, we want a uh, 3 32nd step in, 1 16th deep. So I've just double checked, always measure twice, cut once, one hopes. So uh, 3 32nd is about 2.4 millimeters. So I'm going to zero on the edge here by feeling which is, uh, this feels really quite, uh, quite good. I will wind this in now to get that, uh, that's my start point there. I've got this, now I'm just gonna get that just so it's just touching and that is gonna be zeroed. So that is the edge of the tool right where it requires. So I now know that uh, I'll wind this in the 1.6 millimeters to get the depth that way. And I'll just carry on traversing uh, this way going across uh, to make sure that uh, we are in the right position. And we'll crack on and see how that goes. this cut so that's exactly from the uh, prop and there so I've just trying to measure, put the calipers across the prop bezel there there and there is hardly any movement at all so and that's prop bezel itself is 53.8 millimeters so we've got that 0.2 of a millimeter clearance which is just about perfect so the next stage from here is I've got to again ink up this face here so I can mark uh, the line for where the two fixing screws are going to go through this uh, so I can, you know, I'm going to use the lathe for that sort of side of life. So I'm just going to take some measurements and bits. Be right back in a mo. So the method of hole marking, I've put a different cutting tool in, which I set up on the very edge here. I've taken the difference in diameter from the external diameter here, where it was set to what the centre is for the screw holes. I'm just getting that to make contact with the bluing and turning it around to score a uh, circle in the engineer's blue. That's my first uh, point. I don't know if that's going to show up, but what I'll do is I'll take a, a close up still uh, once I've got this uh, all marked up and set. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set a uh, spirit level on the top of the four jaw chuck and I'm actually going to run 
the cutting tool backwards and forwards across there. That gives me a, uh, a horizontal mark. And now I'm going to turn this whole setup 180 degrees. Spirit level in position. And then hopefully run this across to create another mark. By doing that, uh, any tool, error from you know, vertical line, although there shouldn't be any because most of my tools are set correctly, but any vertical error is, is cancelled uh, by the rotation. I can't just run straight the way across because of the, uh, the bit in the middle. I'd have to pull it back out and put it back in again. But now I've got two marks which I can centre punch and uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to, to, to run the uh, clearance drill for the quarter BSF uh, screws which uh, hold this whole assembly on to the propeller. So here is the uh, markings. One, one hole's drilled already. Um, there's a pilot start already on this so uh, I've set the speed up to uh, be suitable and uh, Hopefully we can drill this all the way through. Yes, and the camera died. So that's what it looked like. Question is, will it fit? So here's my initial fit. And for more on this, uh, join the next episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. You can subscribe or even hit the little bell notification for future videos. Any comments would be appreciated and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Remember, go fly and feel the sky.